Hello, welcome to Mi Cocina with Andres Duenas. Today, we're making a Eggs Benedict with a homemade hollandaise sauce. For my first time making this New York based dish, I decided to follow a recipe presented by America's Test Kitchen. The recipe calls for 12 eggs, four of which the yolk will be separated to make the hollandaise sauce. A loaf of bread, a traditional eggs benedict, calls for English muffins, but I opted out for a baker's made nine grain wheat bread. Smoked salmon, I used about two ounces per bread toast. Two teaspoons of lemon juice, I used fresh squeezed for this recipe. And a whopping eight tablespoons of butter, make sure the butter is at room temperature for a softer and creamier hollandaise sauce. Once set, Separate four egg yolks into a heat resistant bowl. Then add eight tablespoons of butter. Make sure to have them in pieces and you can set the egg whites aside for another recipe. On the stove, create a double boiler by placing the bowl over a stock pot filled with three to four inches of boiling water. Make sure the bowl does not touch the water. Here I had to prop it up with a heat resistant glass bowl and I figured this configuration is what caused me issues making the sauce. As you can see, whisk vigorously, slowly adding boiling water to the sauce until it reaches a temperature of 160 degrees and thicken. Bring the bowl back to the table and add the lemon juice and salt to taste. To test out the thickness of the sauce, I coated the back of my spoon with the sauce and ran a streak down the middle. Seeing that the line remained visible, I knew the sauce was thick enough, just not creamy enough. Next is the poached eggs. I used a strainer propped over a bowl to separate the watery egg whites from the more solid, fresher egg white. Typically, the longer the eggs are aged, the more watery the egg whites become. Here you can see the eggs aren't as fresh even though I bought them the same day of cooking. And as you can see, I messed up one of the eggs, so I decided to crack an extra one just to have four complete eggs. In a Dutch oven, I added one teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of vinegar and brought the solution to a boil. These ingredients are essential for egg poaching and the mixture allows for neither of the ingredients to have an overpowering taste. After bringing the water to a boil, I turned off the heat and added the strained eggs one by one. One mistake to note here is that I didn't let the water cool down enough, eventually overcooking the eggs. I let the eggs sit for the recommended time of 3 minutes and removed them from the water. Back at the table, I placed my toast on the plate added smoked salmon to the toast, followed by two eggs per toast. Traditionally, only one egg goes on a piece of toast, but I'm a heavy eater and I love eggs. Finally, I doused the eggs with the hollandaise sauce using one spoonful per egg. While I don't recommend this dish for everyday eating, it's a relatively simple dish for a great Sunday brunch.